but like I said, let's start adding in some of the photos and journaling. And I have to clean up this after. So let's see, where did my photos go? Here they are. I wanted it to start on November the 25th, but it really it didn't happen. Uh, we were busy with my neighbors on the weekend. And it's so nice. The neighbors also have, um, several, several of the neighbors actually also have young kids around the same age as my son, and they're all boys. So it's really, I'm really appreciative that I live here. And that they're all really nice, nice people. <clears throat> because what that was one of my concerns was that uh, I wouldn't be able to make friends, like I mean, like mother friends. <laughs> but they're really, really nice. So kids were playing in the IKEA house thing, and then. Maybe I could put this in an. I can probably even use this in the Hobonichi Techo or in my journal. And then here, Christmas lights. My son just likes staring at them. Uh, the journal from Sagita. I filmed an unboxing. So I wanted to. I don't know if I'll put it into this journal, but. If I have space, I will. And then I also started working on the junk journal from the junk trunk kit. And then, so maybe I could journal, put that aside. And then this, it's kind of hard to see, but maybe I should have made it a bigger. I decided to take this photograph because it's, here is like the Japanese momiji, the Japanese uh, maple tree. And then on the back there is the bamboo trees, and it's just so Japanese, I guess. Um, I just wanted to remember it. Let's find... I'm not going to actually use... Now that I think about it, I'm not going to use the dates yet, because we're not in December yet. But I just wanted to document the... this stuff here. So with my last journal, I didn't go in chronological order. I, f I just flipped through the pages and I went through with what kind of, what I felt like I wanted to journal in. So I think I'm going to do the same thing this year. I'm just going to go with the flow, I suppose, and use the pages that I feel like speak to me. And of course, if you don't have enough paper, or if enough spots to journal in, you can always tip in, tip in lots of things. It's so nice to see my son is getting older, so he's understanding the <clears throat> idea of Christmas more. And he knows that he has to be a good boy and <laughs> it's crazy now that he's in daycare his Japanese is so like he picks it up he picked it up so fast and now his English is not as advanced which was I guess a given but it's so crazy how fast they how fast the kids um, pick up another language <laughs> I wish I could be like that <laughs> Uh, I kind of like it here. I don't know if that's going to work. Let's see. I'm going to cut off a little bit. Guys, I'm, I'm so sleepy right now. <laughs> I want to take a nap. I'm so tired. I think I'll stick it down first. So my parents went back home. It's really sad. Uh, they were visiting here for a while. They had to go back home. It was so nice to have them because they would help out. Um, like 
they loved um, dropping him off at the daycare and picking him up. It was kind of like their thing. My son loved it too, so it's kind of sad. But hopefully we'll be able to go sometime next year before my daughter turns two. Because once she turns two, the flights become a lot more expensive. I think right now she only has to pay 10, 15%? of the actual cost. I don't remember. But uh, anyways. I like to gather my scraps in one section. So I don't know if you noticed that. But. Mm, I don't want to cut this. Uh, I guess it might work. Or maybe I'll just leave it as is and then I'll journal there. Let's see if there's a sticker that we can use, or I forgot we have ephemera. The vintage ephemera. I'm excited to use this. Let's see. Oh, this is so pretty and so cute. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I want to hang this from something. Be one of these holes. <laughs> you can definitely journal on the back there too. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know if this um, is a bit flimsy though. Let's see what we can fit on the... This is so cute. I should have stuck the photo on top of this. I don't know if that's going to work still. Let's see. No. <laughs> I could journal a bit here. This is so cute. <laughs> Wait till December 25th. <laughs> I think I'll put that and then I'll journal that. Mm, maybe that's a bit better there. What do you think? I could just stick some washi tape there. I think I'm overthinking it way too much. <laughs> I should just stick things down. Oh, there's two. Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> Stick some washi tape. Do you live close to your family members? Do you guys have like um, holiday Christmas parties? <laughs> I haven't been to one in many years. <laughs> well, since coming here, I haven't been to like a holiday Christmas party for work or anything like that. They're always like really nice and everybody, <laughs> you see everybody at work and everybody's always serious. Not always serious, but you know, they're all in like work mode and always <laughs> during the Christmas holiday, holiday parties, everyone's really relaxed and drinking and um, you see, I guess, a different side of your co-workers which is kind of neat as well so I can drill a bit there my son is loving these lights mm. I kind of want it keep it as just one thing on a page I could cut some of this part off so maybe I'll do that <coughs> oops Sorry, I kind of want to put it on the washi tape, so I'm going to rip that. And then I will do red. I should take out my red washi tape that I have that I used last year too.
I should also check the dollar store to see if there's washi tape available. Well, this one sticks, so I think that's good. I'll stick this one here. When I was a kid, I used to just lie. Like my uh, Christmas, the Christmas tree would be in the living room, and I would just kind of lie down and stare up into the tree at the lights. Just something similar to what he's doing. It's so calming. I don't know what it is. Oh, I think I stuck. I should cut this off now. We don't have enough lights for our... Well, we... It's... <laughs> we bought, like, a Christmas tree kit, so it has the lights, uh, several ornaments, and, like, really basic stuff. But the lights are really sparse. sparse. Um, so we... I think I need to get like another set of lights. I think this is just too little for the Christmas tree. I think I put too much uh, adhesive on the back there, so I should cover it up. I could always do a tip in here. Sometimes I like to kind of do outlines. Makes it a little bit more interesting and fun. Like that. But so there's still that straight edge here that you could tip in. So maybe I'll do that because this part is sticky. So I'll just tip the, this part in using some washi tape. And oops. Let me do this one here. My apologies in advance as I'm doing a voiceover now. In the video that you see here, I started talking about Santa Claus and I, you know, I don't even, I, maybe I, I thought later on, maybe I shouldn't talk about Santa Claus just in case you have your uh, kids around. So anyways, now I'm doing a voiceover and I'm filming this a lot later on in the evening. I started the journal entry just before I had to pick my son up and uh, I couldn't finish it in time so I'm just finishing it off at night. I'm trying to find a good I guess backdrop or background so I found this nice green Santa Claus name plate. Is that what it's called? Those to and from tags um, that you put on the presents? I mean, anyways, it's really cute. I love the vintage Santa Claus there, so I decided to use that instead. The picture you see of my son... <laughs> Do you know those ornaments that are like fake presents that you kind of hang on your tree? The small, small ornaments, like the small gift ornaments. Anyways, he thought it was a real present, so he unwrapped it. And it was just a styrofoam cube, and so I took a picture of that. And then I'm just stamping on the date. It's not technically December. Um, the spread is technically not in December, so I decided to use the Tim Holtz uh, Distress Stain and I stamped on the date. This is also a Tim Holtz, I forgot what it's called. Uh, it has different phrases and there's a section where they have phrases about the holiday season. And so I decided to cut that up and put that on the photo. And I finish off this spread by adding more of these little phrases or sentiments and some stickers. And that's it for day one. I'm not too sure how I'm going to date these because I kind of film several at a time. And I don't know if I'll be able to upload every single day. I have several, like a handful of videos I'm already finished filming. So I might put them up in clusters. So I'm not really too sure how I'm going to uh, word them. But... I guess here is December daily, daily number one. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please like and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I have a whole bunch of videos coming up this month. So I hope you stay tuned. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.